child's father posted revenge porn of me last night and honestly I don't think any of us are surprised because this should be a major lesson for everybody on here whether you hate me or not when somebody shows you who they are literally just believe them hey beautiful people how you are doing today it's your girl destiny here and welcome back to my channel how you are doing hope you guys are doing great so today's video is more like an update and a very messy situation between Morgan Bailey's and the random man of Atlanta. If you don't know this story, then probably just Google it. You'll get more updates on the situation. So apparently, um, the random man from Atlanta released a revenge porn of Morgan, even though Morgan has denied the fact that they are both back together since a couple of months. People have been calling them out that how could she go back to to the random man of Atlanta. She said they are not together, they are just co-parenting. And now the random man from Atlanta has released a, con a revenge porn of her and now she's responding to this. This video has struck a bigger conversation and has gotten a lot of people talking and including Morgan has responded, basically trying to tell us Opal we've learned a lesson, which I found really interesting. Anyway, guys, we're going to check out what Morgan has to say. But before we get into the video mainly, I just want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you here on this channel. You guys are amazing for checking up on me, sending me messages, wishing me well in the comment section, sending me a recipe to use for a, the calamari lotion tin. I'm using it. The chicken pots is <laughs> skilling your girl, but we're pushing through. Anyway, let's go hear what Morgan has to say, then we'll come back and talk more. My child's father posted revenge me last night and honestly i don't think any of us are surprised because this should be a major lesson for everybody on here whether you hate me or not when somebody shows you who they are literally just believe them you'll save yourself a lot of time a lot of effort and a lot of energy i could be somewhere balled up crying right now but i'm literally not i'm really calm about the whole entire situation because i know at the end of the day literally god has my back god does not like ugly i don't have much to say about the situation but if you support that or you think that's okay Please go ahead and exit off my page and unfollow me and literally block me because that's actually disgusting. And you have to like be so low from the depths of hell to post revenge on anybody, especially if the video was never even consented to. And I've never in my life consented to any video like that being taken. I've changed my content around tremendously from when I have started TikTok because I know that my kid's going to grow up and see these videos. Now, I think people get it confused, but I'm a mom before I'm a TikToker. So when you guys see me making parenting decisions on other people's live and this and that and bashing me for it, just know that I've literally been the one taking care of her since day one and without any help. I have a 20 minute video literally sitting in my drafts clearing my name on every single lie that I've been accused of telling on this app with receipts and dates to prove it. But honestly, I don't even have time to explain myself to strangers anymore at this point if you hate me so much you can you can unfollow i'm not even trying to be funny i'd rather lose followers than have any more drama on my page and if you support anybody posting revenge on somebody and you think that that's funny or you think that that's cute in any way shape or form please go ahead and exit because you're actually a disgusting person on the inside and out and there's a special place in hell for you guys i'm a grown woman and i say wholeheartedly that whoever somebody's sleeping with has never bothered me so the fact that people want to know and want to coochie monitor me so bad is like beyond me because i have a kid with this person Contrary to belief, I've never been a never been anything like that. I literally have probably the lowest body count that a 24-year-old can possibly have. I think it's very normal to spin the block on somebody and give them another chance. Take it from me, if you literally leave my page today, block me and never come back, at least just remember this one thing. When somebody shows you who you are, you let them and you run far away from them and you never give them another chance. This video is not any for any sympathy or anything like that. It's just simply being the bigger person and growing up and realizing that some people just take stuff too far. The whole situation is just dead to me. I don't feel bad for myself. I'm not a, I'm not a victim or anything. I'm just like really truly over it. And if you guys think that this is funny, okay, here you go. Have your laugh. Comment all the clown emojis as you can. And, but honestly, this is like real life and if I was telling the story years from now, you guys would be praising me but since I'm going through it full speed and let, allowing the internet to view me underneath the microscope, um, for some reason that warrants me to have a, a shit ton of hate on this app and be called all types of names and a bad mom and this and that and every name underneath the book pretty much. But you guys can have a field day in the comments. Just know that when I go back to Michigan and I'm being labeled as a bitter baby mom, this is why. I'm protecting my peace and my kids' peace from here on out. And I owe nobody an explanation. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about what he, she said about the revenge con release of her and a situation with the random man from Atlanta. I feel like Morgan really thinks that a lot of uh, subscribers are foolish. I feel so because she a video i posted a couple of um days ago even 
that was her and the random man from Atlanta literally just laughing at people's face like yeah, they see me rolling they're hating like same people are hating on them when clearly the entire internet is seeing this man for what it is for who he is and what it is and just keep trying to warn her another but she she just felt like she knows it best and i feel like this stems from a whole lot of things and all that but hey this uh, new development between the random man and morgan i strike a bigger conversation and i put in some stage here so that you guys just hear what they have to say because it really got like some were really saying amazing things like so many people are really talking about this and giving their thought but i just need you guys to hear this couple of stage and what they have to say and then i'll come back and say more of my thought but i also i want to know your own thought on this down in the comment section yeah you know this situation with morgan bailey and the random man from atlanta is a hot mess and it seems like it gets progressively worse every day now, yesterday, it was all over TikTok that Jaquan released a video or a screenshot of Morgan giving fellatio. And she said that it was revenge corn and that she did not consent to being filmed during that intimate moment. Now, last night, Morgan was on a live and she had this to say about the whole situation and not taking it back to Michigan. This is not like this is this was not the best for Gigi. And I don't want people to think like this is normal or I'm going to make this normal because I over my dead body. Would I actually take this back to Michigan and make this normal? Now, we all know this was never about a co-parenting situation. This was a kill two birds with one stone. And that was Gigi gets to have her father in her life. And Morgan gets to have this family that she fantasizes about. Now, in this video where she's swabbing a empty makeup container, she had this to say. Do you hate me or not? When somebody shows you who they are, literally just believe them. I just know that when I go back to Michigan and I'm being labeled as a bitter baby mom, this is why. I'm protecting my peace and my kids' peace from here on out, and I owe nobody an explanation. Now, I understand that sounds good, and that he did some shit that a lot of people can't come back from. But do I believe that she's done? No, it's not over with. They might take a hiatus for a couple days, but it's not over with. Here's why I believe it's not over. Morgan is dealing with a person that is out of her league. And the phrase out of your league is subjective. And I mean this in a sense where these are two people from two different walks of life. That honestly, I don't see any compatibility with other than they share a child and just maybe physical attraction. I get that somebody's actions can make them unattractive. But is Jaquan an unattractive man? No, he isn't. He actually does have charisma. Remember, he has seven kids by seven different women. And those are not the only women that he has had in his lifetime. He might not be your flavor of the week, month, or year, but he definitely is for a whole lot of women. And having a man that every won't is exciting to a lot of women. Okay, then you also got to take into consideration that he is a challenge. He is hard to conquer, to lock the f down because he's a rolling stone and he will tell you that himself. So for her to get him and be in a relationship with him, it makes her feel like she's conquered him. She's won. I remember Nicki Minaj saying something to the tune of he shitted on me and then ended up getting shitted on. So when people do us dirty, it ignites this fire in us. To one, I get our lick back. And typically women do this by glowing the up. And we don't block them because we want them to see this glow up. We want them to see us doing good. We want them to see that they didn't break us. And deep down, you really want them to come crawling back. You want them to beg you back. Now, people typically post pictures on Facebook and Instagram to show this whole process of you glowing up, right? But to go viral on TikTok, shitting on it, shitted on you. And now you're getting sponsorships. You're getting a bag. You're living a good life. That's the ultimate lick back. Getting your lick back has to be the sole purpose of doing all of this shit. Because if you're not mentally strong or you still have unresolved feelings or will entertain the idea of getting back with that, it's going to blow up in your face. When Morgan first came on the scene, she talked and acted as if she understood her devil. 
But clearly she didn't because her heart and her mind were not aligned. And you got to understand, Jaquan is a hustler. And you cannot out-hustle a hustler, especially when you green. So if I had a scale or a range of how much of his lick back that he has completed, that's 60%. We still got a whole nother 40% to go. It's not over, people. Stay tuned. Child's father posted revenge last night, and honestly, I don't think any of us are surprised because this should be a major lesson for everybody on here. Whether you hate me or not, when somebody shows you who they are, literally just believe them. And there it is. You almost got the quote right. But the quote says when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. The first time you should have believed him was when he left you in the hospital a few days after giving birth to go back to his ex-girlfriend. You should have never gave that man a platform. He did nothing to help you build it. So why are you giving him access to it for free? So now he's using the same platform that he built off of your back to bash you with it. This is a monster that you created because that man had a plan from the beginning and he came to you with his hand out. All you've been doing is giving him and giving him and giving him all so that you don't have to look like a fool in front of your audience. He knew what you were doing and he saw right through you. He played his role for as long as he needed to. And now here is the real him. He was always petty. He was always spiteful. If the rumors are true and you really got dropped from the influencer agency because of him, now you have to realize he's a liability and he's messing with your ability to take care of your daughter. The mistake that I believe that you're making, Morgan, is that you're still making it about you. And being a mom means making it about the child. You don't have to use your million follower uh, fan base to watch y'all co-parent together. This man knows you want a happy family so bad, so he keeps giving you little glimpses of it. But this is the real him. We've always seen it. Do you see it now? My child's father posted revenge last night. This should be a major lesson for everybody on here. Morgan. Jesus Christ. I want to start by saying revenge. No. Okay. And random man from Atlanta is real ridiculous he's an ass and he thinks this shit is a game he gonna comment under somebody's video and did she go home this morning baby girl it is time to close up shop first of all why would we be the ones who will be learning a lesson what's happening and then you have the nerve to have the camera set up in the bathroom putting on makeup knowing damn well that that man is in the house with you oh <laughs> And then what's frying me is she's been going live with like one of these tea pages that I've been seeing and they're just a kiki and what the f is funny as somebody who has, you know, dealt with a narcissist before. OK, I don't judge her as much as other people judge her because I genuinely understand you could have Michelle Obama level intelligence when you're with a man that is that type of crazy. You will have not only everyone else questioning your intelligence, you will be questioning your own intelligence. Morgan, 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 let's talk about it. So me personally, I ain't never followed Morgan, right? Because her initial story with the random man from Atlanta, I ain't nobody's baby mama. The story didn't resonate with me. It wasn't nothing I wanted to follow. However, season two of the Morgan show has been very interesting. That is what I might follow. The whole baby daddy coming back into the picture, her doing this whole co-parenting with him, him trying to ride the wave of her popularity and clout. Like all of that been crazy. It's been a crazy ride. Him getting on these lives, talking crazy, barely being able to talk at that, being able to put together words. But when he is able to put together words, he on there saying crazy stuff. He on there airing out their business. And now he done released some revenge on her. I don't know what was more ridiculous watching Morgan put on makeup from an empty makeup container throughout the whole video or the fact that she really believed that her baby daddy was back for good reasons. I don't know which one was more ridiculous. It might have been the empty makeup container because she really sat there and took that makeup brush and just kept putting it in that empty container and putting it on her face as if she was wiping anything on her face. It was it was really weird and crazy. But nevertheless, she really thought that baby daddy was back for good reasons. No, girl, he was back to ride the wave to get in on your cloud. Right. Like I done told y'all what the game was from the very beginning with Morgan. She would have never came here from the first place had he acted the way she wanted him to act and played house with her the way she wanted to play house that's all she ever wanted from this whole thing 
She just wanted to play house with this man. And she really thought him coming back this second time that he was really ready to play house again. And he fooled her again. Fooled me once. Shame on you. Fooled me twice. Can't put the blame on you no more. Right? Like, at this point, Morgan, I hope you take a good look in the mirror and realize that the problem is you. Let that man go and go take care of the rest of his kids and stop trying to help fund his life, help pay for the stuff for his other kids, put him on. That's not your job. Enjoy your clout. Enjoy that verified check you got. Enjoy all of the views and stuff that you get, right? Because you're going to keep on, you're going to let him be the destruction of your platform. And that's a bad look. When a man shows you who he is, believe him the first time. The worst thing that can happen to you is not a baby. I know that society likes to convince you that it's a baby, but it's not. It's losing relationships. It's losing your livelihood. It's destroying your credibility with your friends, family, and if you have a platform, your fans. It's losing thousands and thousands of dollars. It's losing an agency. It's having thousands or millions of people know what you look like in your intimate moments against your will. It's your mental health struggling for years and years to come. It's the kids that you do have being affected by that mental health issue that you are now accruing. A man that has nothing to lose will help you lose everything in hopes that he will gain something. Listen to him the first time. That's all I know. Please go down in the comment section and so let me know down in the comment section. Do you think that oh Morgan, I think how old is she? 24, 25, 20. 24 25 do you think that she is young so she should get a pass that's why she hasn't learned or you feel like she has trauma that she has to heal from or she knows exactly what she's doing she just wants to conquer the random man from atlanta or and all that so let me know what you think about it share your own thought down in the comment section but please keep it respectful as always you're on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we do it in a respectful way so feel free to share your opinion so here's my thought on this is that first up i want to say the sister that was talking about how um the random man from atlanta is a, an attractive guy and probably that is why morgan uh i will not call he's not a ugly guy but he he, he should not be the attra like oh the old attractive guy so for him to have like seven baby mamas so sometimes I feel like as much as we call these men out, sometimes we as women, we also have to start holding we women accountable and be, for being blatantly stupid. Yes, I'm going to use the word today. Because how could a man like him that, I don't understand, is having a baby mama, a seventh baby mama, how? What, what what was it telling you people how are you and i know yes we have a whole lot of us a whole lot of women that uh, have not learned have not been very self-aware that they've not done the healing work i know they have it for a man that has the first baby mama second baby mama and and it's not as if he's hiding it from you and you're choosing to still be with him and have one like thinking that you could change him or you could lock him really so i feel like that's not the reason i just feel like morgan has an underlying um, trauma that she feels like she's she's going to win. It's almost like a competition, and I get it as women and as young girls, we naturally be pitched against each other, and we've always seen a man as the prize. And I feel like that's what Morgan thought that oh, getting the random man back was more like a prize that she won. I'm got the baby mama, he's more with me, and all that. Da -da 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 -da. But it's not a prize, and a lot of women, especially younger girls, need to start saying that that this is just a clear definition that put yourself first, take care of yourself first, love yourself first. Because if you love yourself so much, you will not put yourself in this situation where a man does whatever, however he likes with you, with your emotions, with your child, with your finance. And yet you have given this man a platform and a voice on social media to make money, to ridicule you, to shame you, to put out your business, even though you don't want to put that particular business out there. You've given that man all the tools he needs to destroy you. And this is it. I know we talked about it in one of the subsequent updates about them, that when a man comes back, he comes back for a purpose. They, she was thinking probably they are going to 
lived a happy family life, really. When this man left other baby mamas, left you a couple of weeks after you gave birth to a child for him, and you think that this man miraculously changed, especially when you are doing fine without him. But one thing I got from Morgan and the entire team when the random man from Atlanta thing is that I like giving people grace and I like... Um, like just kind of like okay let's see how it pans out type of thing but i feel like she started calling she blew up because she was still very angry and just wanted to mock and ridicule him probably to get at him probably so that she can get him back also that she can get his attention and i feel like that is why she did the random man from atlanta that blew her up and all that with the child so morgan do i think that she has learned a lesson nope I don't think she has learned a lesson. I feel like if the random man from Atlanta comes back and acts all right again, she will take him back. And I feel like this type of woman, we just need to let them be <laughs> because there's um, as much as you try to get them out of it, they are not going anywhere. They will not leave. They will still go back to those dusties that they want to go back to. So as much as we try to preach the gospel, tell them, try to teach them, especially the younger women, the older women trying to tell them, mm -mm, don't do it this way. We've seen this playbook before. Don't do it this way. And yet they don't want to listen. I feel like someone like Morgan, just let her be. If she will not learn from other people's lessons, she's going to learn her own lesson. And, and I feel right now she's never learning from her own lesson because she's only angry and upset because the random man post uh, the revenge thing or else she'll still be with him. He will probably sweet talk her and... Bob's your uncle, we won't know what's going on. So that's the only reason she's making the decision she's making. It's not the fact that she was really fed up of the way he treats her or the way he talks to her and all that. So, yeah. So let me know your own thought about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we'll do it in a respectful way. So feel free to share your thoughts, but be respectful as always. Like I want to say, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for always supporting me, supporting this channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys, and you guys know that. I hope you guys know that I do appreciate you guys, your comment and everything. I might be slow to comment, reply, because that's because, like, I'm really going through it with this chicken pot thing. And I'm just trying as much as to work as much as I can without really, um, like... <laughs> it's hard already but please you guys just bear with me i'll get to the comment as early as i can but yeah thank you guys so much anyway go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to put out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl with that whole set guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces